in the seven word system, the fifth word is please, whose keywords are vision, intention, cooperation, and prayer. Please is the energy of assertively acting upon another in order to fulfill your requirements. It's impossible to get somebody to do something for you unless you ask with a certain attitude and a certain specificity. You need to be clear about what it is you're asking and you need to ask in a way that engenders cooperation. Um, you, you can insist, please, 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 please. Uh, yeah, okay, what do you want? And if you don't know what you want, you can't have it. Or you could say, give me that. And that really doesn't work very often if you have a gun, maybe, but otherwise you need to be more supplicating. You need to ask somebody to help you. So the four keywords of please tells you how this process best works. The first stage of this is vision. Now, the word vision, of course, refers to the sense of sight, but that's not really what it means. It means imagination. Imagine the future. In a certain way and that can include all the senses you can imagine a piece of music that you're composing or the taste of a meal that you're cooking um, that's what we mean by vision the um, the sense of imagining the future the way you choose it to be the word want isn't very good in this context the word want indicates lack and if you say I want you're reaffirming a lack of something if you say I choose then that's much stronger vision therefore is about being um, specific about what you choose using the imagination to shape your idea of how the future will be and that process of imagining the future is understood by certain esotericists to be the very practice that you need to engage with in order to create the future. We pretty much create our lives with our expectations. Obviously, when we're born, we're programmed to expect it to be a certain way. And that comes a lot from parents, a lot from school, a lot from peers. But it very often is not from personal inspection. If we actually notice what works in our lives, really carefully notice, we will find that the processes that other people tell us work, that's not the secret. It's a different secret. What works is to imagine clearly what you choose to have in the future. That's the first stage. It's not enough. You need to stretch towards it. Now, that part of the body, which is to do with stretching towards something, tendons do that. And linguistically similar to the word tendon is the word intention. When we intend something, it's quite a different energy from visioning something. We can imagine a cosy cottage in the country to retire with our love whom we've been with for 50 years we can have that imaginary vision if we want but do we intend that really do we behave as though we intend that we don't we make different decisions we make decisions in favor of career or uh, friendship circles or sport or entertainment or or comfort if you intend something, then you have to do work to achieve it, typically. And that's the second word, intention. The third is cooperative, is cooperation. The, the, the sense is that we cannot do it alone. There's nothing that we can do alone. Not one thing is free of the need for cooperation. Even breathing is a cooperative activity with trees. Cooperation requires us to find somebody whose own vision is in alignment with our vision. Even if you want a cup of coffee, you give money to the shopkeeper and their vision is to receive money so that they have the possibility of developing their vision. Um, it also 
it's useful to check what um, their intention is. If somebody's intention differs radically from your intention, then it really isn't a good idea to move into cooperative involvement with you, with them. This is important when you're talking to the possibility of um, a relationship, especially. Um, very often a relationship starts because of fairly shallow motives, such as comfort, sex, joy, fun. Um, whereas you're making a, an arrangement which perhaps will last many years indeed. And if their intention is to be absolutely career oriented and yours is more to do with family, you need to talk about that to see if those two visions for the future can find alignment. The cooperation aspect of the word please requires us to be specific and have an attitude of supplication. We, we have to ask somebody to change their way of being in order to align with our wish for their way of being. And that means persuasion, typically. You have to persuade somebody that your vision of the future and um, is clearer is a clearer expression of their vision. They can get what they want better, even more easily, if they help you get what you want. Now, if you raise this to a highest level, you engage with the highest level within you. And we do that by finding the energy called sacredness. You can call it prayer if you want. You can call it magic if you want. That doesn't matter. And you can use Latin language or Arabic language or any other language. That doesn't matter either. What matters is the sense of sacredness. Because what we call sacredness is um, a relationship with the highest dimension of our own being that we can access. Um, at that level, we can see more. We can see a lot more of the implications of the future. The future is not entirely unknown to us. There are two aspects of the future, what may be, which we can't know, and what must be, which we do know. But we only know that if we think it through. If you plant an apple seed in the right circumstances, you'll get an apple tree. If you plant um, anything else, you won't. If we think about the absence of the word please, if, if your own please is weak, then that tends to mean a lackluster kind of life, uninspired, uninspiring, and um, a weak will. There's a despondency that comes with this. Um, if weak, if um, please is strong but dysfunctional, then you would find avarice was an, uh, an energy that clouded your, your sense of self. You'd be greedy. You'd, you'd want this, that, or the other. Take it. A bully actually has a strong please. It's a dysfunctional expression of it, but it is strong. Um, the, the energy of envy is associated with please as well, which is not to be um, totally dismissed. When, when a, a, a baby is learning how to, to do things, it, its energy is, is quite a lot to do with envy. It, it sees what daddy and mummy can do and envies their ability and so stretches the tendons towards that possibility. So we could associate please with that uh, word of envy as well in, uh, in one sense. So plan life endlessly anticipating special experiences.